Sports and movies Is it a hair? Alaska Lincoln, she'll say I haven't seen it Welcome to the Haven't Seen a Podcast This is a podcast where we bring people on the show We get them really drunk and they tell me about a movie that I've never seen before I'm Elenka Zach And I will Wow And, and we're back We're back Happy New Year we're back. We're back virtually recording We're virtual. out of an abundance of caution. Yeah. I yeah. <laughs> love how chipper you are. Your hello, totally. so chipper. I am, yeah. It's good. I was thinking about that too. I was like, I'm so happy that we can still do this and that, yeah. you know, we're all yeah, you, arriving. You're right. you're right. You're right. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I mean, speaking of things Positivity, that we. Positivity, baby. That we thought weren't coming back or now we're <gasps> in its ugly head. Zach's back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey. Hey, Perfect. Zach. Hi. <laughs> I can't believe you've dragged me back to do this again. I agreed to do this again. Yeah. I think oh. you enjoy this, actually. I don't okay. appreciate it. It makes more sense because, truthfully, we use you as a punching bag so often that you should at least be able to defend yourself. Exactly. Right. And if we don't like agree. Through, if, through interpretive dance and so on. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Next time. I'll, I'll have to work on that. <laughs> well, well, well. Yeah. But if we don't like what he's saying, then I can just turn him off and we have a bunch of recordings of him anyway, right? I think I agree, actually. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <God damn it. laughs> No, we love having Zach back. Zach's going to play some improv music for us tonight. So yeah. get ready. I'm glad we're alive. Yes. Like now is fine. I will I will play music and I will try to improvise, but uh, that's that's the most I'll promise. For, I'm so glad me. we're not paying you. <laughs> you guys are getting paid? <laughs> well, speaking well, of getting paid, uh, we have some people back on the show tonight. Uh, we affectionately call them our pod daddies or pod zaddies, wherever pod you want to call them. Pod daddies, pod they, fathers. They are uh, the producers of the Brain Freeze Podcast Network, the podcast network that we're under. They are the hosts of the Dr. DC Podcast and Ghost Facers, a Supernatural Rewatch. And they are now, since last being on the show, they are now canadian podcast award mm-hmm. winners uh mm-hmm. reed and richard welcome to the show oh oh, oh. hey hey hey. <laughs> uh, hey hey perfect okay. you guys tried <laughs> thank to you have for- a candid little intro just like that. <laughs> this isn't live is it oh no <laughs> Oh, I'm it's so live. And they're not I need some you. propaganda I need to put down. <laughs> Pod became immediately stressed. <laughs> As it should be. Uh, I'm just glad that when you made the COVID connection and said reared its ugly head, that it, I was like, what a weird way to introduce the guest. And then I was like, <laughs> oh, it's Zach. That's fine. <laughs> That's what yeah. I'm here for. I would I would never speak ill of you, our pod zaddies and overlords. I would. Thank you. Contractually <laughs> obligated. I appreciate that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now I really I do need that manscape money soon though. So yeah, it's uh, yeah. in the mail. Oh, I wanna <laughs> advertise for men's grooming products. Why don't we just start and see what so happens? So you are getting paid for this. Is that oh, this I, we we don't we don't come on the show unless we get paid. I thought oh. I sent you guys. I thought I thought I sent you guys Richard's blades. <laughs> <laughs> Used yeah. blades. You can sell them on eBay. They make uh-huh. a, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, only if they've you know been a certain place. Oh, yeah. place. I think that's implied. The butthole. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, there we go. The first Ooh. improv. I, I think that's maybe, that's <laughs> it was just like one the, word. It's one boundary that we haven't crossed on either of our shows. There's yet. a boundary we haven't crossed. Is to, is to have like live improvised music. That's true. Only I well, take it for will to, to create to create yeah. this much complications in a I production. Love <laughs> I love it. There's a lot of complications, but I'm handling it. Yeah. Um, mm. Oh, speaking mm-hmm. of other complications, we also have live chat and uh this right. is Zach's girlfriend officially said that a uh, fun fact ah. actually says professional punching bag on Zach's I hope resume. that's the truth. <laughs> that better be the truth, Alma. 
Oh my god! I, I mean, it was in your easy business gig. card. You just had to. I thought sit, you had to sit in a bag. Or you had to. <laughs> it wasn't wasn't that bad. It was just some light bruising, but. <laughs> I thought you said Zach's girlfriend a fictionally like <laughs> I thought it was like a dig that she wasn't real. That's funny. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Well, uh, guys, thank you for coming back on. Right. What are we talking about tonight? We're talking about the 2005 masterpiece. Three. No, it's uh, the the highest budgeted pornography that ever existed. Oh, I see what's it, happening. Uh, Jesse Jane, Evan. Lu I mean, really, the <laughs> listen. What? I don't want to. I don't want to blow up our own spot here. But like, we could easily record a two hour podcast episode about pirates. Oh no, but that's not what this is. But we're talking about pirates of the Caribbean. i literally don't Ooh. know what you guys are talking about ever aleka, aleka there is a extremely high budget porno called the pirates. highest budget porn it's of highest all time budget porno ever made called pirates <laughs> cool. or so we've heard i yeah oh. I, I, I understand <laughs> bet you gotta pay to view i mean it's the same plot though isn't it I mean, the who's to say? Yeah. <laughs> no, we're talking. We're talking about. I was like, we're finished. Was close. Honestly, we're you guys could probably Pirates tell me. Yeah, you guys could probably tell me the plot of either movie, and I'd be like, okay, yeah, <laughs> sounds <laughs> legit. Yeah. Well, uh, why why did you choose this movie, and uh, what's your? I mean, what's your connection to it? Um. Okay, uh -huh. I will say we like weirdly. I think maybe for the first time ever, we're guesting on a show more in our capacity as ghost facers than as like dr dc because i think normally when we've guessed it on shows it's been like these are a couple of nerdy guys or whatever mm -hmm. but the ghost not like our thing, ghost facers guys but now cool. we're now we're talking about ghosts and curses oh sure and all sorts of stuff like that yeah. i this is one of those ghosts? movies yeah oh, all sorts of fun stuff I didn't know I mean, there's... kind of. It's more of a curse than a ghost. But there's okay. the undead. And They're stuff damned. Like yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and it's one of those movies that, like, it's actually kind of perfect. It's like a truly great movie that hasn't aged poorly. Yeah. Like, it doesn't have weird. It doesn't have too much, like, weird, like, gross stuff in it that you're like, ah, man. Well, back in the day. Yeah. Like, mm. I mean, Johnny Depp's still on the edge. All right? <laughs> but, but, like, it's probably his best performance yeah. ever. Yeah, except uh, for when he dies in that Friday the Thirteenth movie, or was it? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nightmare on M Street—that's what it was. Oh, uh, not the remake of Twenty One Jump Street. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Was death. yeah. I just—I don't know. I just—I love this movie. I've got real fond memories of it. I, I think it's a real banger. It's got a crazy good cast. What about you? What you wanted to do this one too? Well, we I think I can't remember what the options we were given around. were. I don't know. Because we were given three options, and this was I found the. I gotta ask: option. Does Will give you like three options, and you have to pick from that? No. Or this time I didn't give you options. No, I oh. I narrowed things down to like a short okay. list, and then I threw it to Rich. Oh, okay. so I had no say in this except for I was given some <laughs> options to choose from. Right. I was taking initiative, sir. <laughs> Well, it looks like someone's getting a raise. <laughs> looks like we're going to be doing Fifty Shades Darker next time. <laughs> I don't get it. Okay, well, I was given... I, I've missed you so much, Alec. <laughs> oh, you missed her catchphrase? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I missed the contentious relationship with Alenka as well. Continue Just to tell me out. about how much you like this movie and wanted to talk about it. Hmm. I, I I know I did actually I do actually really like this movie. I probably haven't seen it in like a decade. Like it's it's been a really long time. But and I think that it also suffers a bit from the same thing Matrix does, which is that the sequels uh weaken the original movie. It has oh. kind of the same sort of like arc shape as the Matrix sequels do too, where the first sequel is like, actually, there's a lot of interesting ideas in here. Then mm. the third one is like, they didn't quite land it. They were just <laughs> like, let's add CGI and make it yeah. better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very yeah, of that time. I feel like I, I watch this one and I go, I'm going to watch the rest. And then I don't. I, I've only watched this one, really. Don't. It's the better <laughs> option. Don't watch the any of I mean, listen, others. we're not talking about it today, but I'm a big <gasps> dead, dead Man's Chest apologist. Really? I, I love that movie. I think that movie's great. That's one it's of these, the I'm movie guessing. of the millennium. <laughs> dead Man's okay. Chest is also the sequel name for Pirates. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> no, don't. Ew. I am convinced. 
<laughs> I want you to know that we put a lot of effort in and got excited about this. I brought this little Jack Sparrow pirate. I see for that. fun. I downloaded so, I or bought this. Oh yeah. my god. You I'm wearing it. I'm wearing wow. a shirt covered in anchors. It's hard to see, but it's covered <laughs> in anchors. I should have and we're both anchors. drinking out of tiki glasses, which I was only informed very recently is uh South Pacific and not Caribbean. Nice. <laughs> so uh sorry. Sorry. It's all, all the right. same, isn't it? I think it's appropriate that you're wearing <laughs> anchors because you tend to be the thing that weighs it down. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I put on that holiday wig, baby. <laughs> hey, Zach's who's wearing a pirate pound. shirt? Zach is wearing a pirate shirt. That's right. Yeah, yeah this is the. Or, Ow. That's, that's better. Oh, I don't like that at all. Please redo that. No, Zach, I can only get so hard. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> at all. I, I could go one deeper, actually. Hold on. Please don't. I've said it's that the before. Last one. I've made those empty promises. Do you want to know what's funny, though? Halfway. Do you want to know what is so interesting? Like the amount of times we've done a sketch with Zach sh completely shirtless is fine, but this makes me beyond uncomfortable. <laughs> Do you want him to go shirtless? Wait. No, we're not doing like, that. Like, so being in the same room as Zach shirtless, that's fine, but like kind of voyeuring him over the internet is slowly yeah, taking up like his throughout the Way episode. I don't like it. Like in the shoulder. <laughs> oh, oh my God, Reed. Yeah. Um, slowly reveal more this. anchors yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's keep this on track here like sure. uh oh. what do you know about this movie if anything there's a girl and there's orlando bloom and there's jack sparrow and the girl what does she even do in this movie that's a great question i feel like orlando bloom wants some treasure um and like they all kind of just want treasure and they meet Jack Sparrow on the way. He also wants some treasure. And then they just kind of join forces. And uh, obviously, the girl, Kira oh. Knightley. Yeah. Is the yeah. yeah. Good. She <laughs> obviously falls in love with OB because she can't fall in love with a drunkard like JS. And so. Wait, so in this movie, canonically, Orlando, Orlando Bloom, Bloom, Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow. <laughs> yes, yes, because I don't know what the other name could possibly be. Oh, I'm going to say William. Actor. I'm going to say his name's Ooh, William. Am I it, right? That sounds is. right. Yeah, because they're British. Now, so, <laughs> so, and then they go on the seas, and there's obviously pirates, and this is where they go on the Caribbean Sea, and they do find treasure, and then they get the treasure, and then uh, mo pro mo money mo problems. People start chasing them. But they get away. You're not wrong. I, mean, I honestly a, a decent amount of that is pretty much right. The only yeah, like irony, it was super vague. Like the that's only the, the only irony being that in this pirates movie, the object is to uh, get rid of your treasure. <laughs> <laughs> really, yeah. I'm yeah. confused, but okay. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. That's, but yeah. otherwise, you basically nailed it. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Like now, it's an action movie. Yeah, from what I'm taking away. Now, Zach, can you summarize what Alenka said even shorter, but in song? No way. <gasps> yes. Um. Okay. <laughs> no. Full screen, too, so everyone can see it. All right, here we go. Alenka's version of Pirates. It's Maybe not that it's... one. I, oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> That's... Uh, if you were looking this up on Pornhub, it would be the term you'd use is ruined. Yeah. <laughs> Oh boy. Well, anyways. <laughs> well, it, it's 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 colloquially uh, referred to as pirates. Is it? Pirates of the Caribbean, yeah. yeah. Pirates one, pirates two. Okay. Depending on who you're talking to. And, sure. I, oh, pirates two yes. at once. I know, but if you're talking to Richard, that's not that's not the one. <laughs> There's only one okay. pirate in my mind. <laughs> so no song then. Oh, oh right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Well, Jack Sparrow and Orlando Bloom. Ooh, I should have warmed up. 
I've been crossing the seas at high noon. Nice. When the key and Natalie's there as well, they're gonna find some treasure and go to hell because that's where you gotta go to be a pirate. Makes sense. In Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> Woo! Woo! That is what I said. Yeah, something exactly. Like that. <laughs> All right. Well, before we get on with the movie, I do have to talk about the drink. Right. Uh, the drink. Uh, oh, you made the format, right? You don't like have to. You, <laughs> it's not like the law of the land. Well, it so is. I'm leaving if he law. doesn't stick to the format. <laughs> it makes it easy, okay, to remember what the format is. Thank you. I have to. <laughs> Here is uh, the drink. It's called uh, Really Bad Eggs. <gasps> wow. And I finished mine already. <laughs> yeah. So we got, uh, we, got, <laughs> we got rum in there. We got pineapple right. juice. Right. We've got orange juice. For sure. Uh, and then we uh, splash just a little bit of grenadine, like a drop, like a drop sure we did. of a sure. uh, young man's blood. <gasps> I was okay. And Get then, it. Uh, yeah. I feel and like it's uh, an actual drink, is it? Garnish with is a pineapple. It, it's a I drink mean, if you drink yeah, it. Yeah, probably. And I made a rum and coke. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Incredible. I think I'm the only one drinking the drink, but that's did you, just for me. Did you seriously finish yours already? Can it I see it? was a tasty bet. <laughs> Hey, hey, Richard. I hey, what? Why's the rum gone? <laughs> <laughs> we'll get back to that later. Hey, Will, right. have you written your jokes out for the entire show? Is there, is there like a list just off screen of just like... I have things I want to get to. Well, oh. let me just tell you. Uh, let me ask you a question, Zach. Uh, yeah. What's a pirate's favorite letter? Well, is it is it R? No, it's the C. <laughs> God damn it. I walked right into that one. It's a, it's a perfect joke. It doesn't matter what you say. Yeah, either way, I've got an answer. That's true. What if I had said the C? Then I oh, say well, the then R. It's R. R. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> right, idiot. Shiver me, Tim Burns. Tell me about the movie now. Damn it, they're good. Yes. Yeah. Rita okay. Richard, how does this movie start? Oh, no. Sure. Oh, yeah. Well, let me tell you. No, oh. don't do the <laughs> a ship document again. Through the fog. Oh. <laughs> a young girl sings A Pirate's Life for Me. Okay. What's that? Oh, oh here's the thing. Yeah. This entire movie is based yeah. on. A yeah. Pirate's Life. Oh, me. Oh, no. Oh, like, creepy. This whole movie is based on like an animatronic Disney theme park ride. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and huh? by based on, by based on, I mean, there's a, a very famous ride from Disney World. It's been there for decades and decades and decades. It might be gone now. I don't know. But it was called Pirates of the Caribbean. Where and one animatronic these... robot just takes like three other random no, robots. No, that's, huh? It's not that pirate. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, <Yeah. laughs> and they sing this song that I can't remember all the words to, but it's like, drink up, may hearties, yo ho. Drink up, may hearties, yo ho. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. And that it's just Got like it. one of those little rides and then they were like can we make this a movie and gore Verbinski <laughs> said yes right <laughs> and so we yes, open on the movie yeah it's foggy there's this ship and this girl is singing and she's singing the song from the ride so you know what the movie is that's right girl as in like she's young like, child she's or... like eight eight oh, or nine okay. yeah she's wearing like a very like uh, uh like yeah formal we're, dress we're in like the 1700s 1800s yeah. she's on a on yep. a ship with yeah. sales and things. So right. she is, she is a gover is it a governess? Yeah. Is that what they call a governor's yes. daughter? I I guess. She, yeah, she's the daughter of Arnold the governor. Schwarzenegger's daughter. She, she, she's the daughter of the governor of Port Royal. <laughs> yes. Uh, who is played by Jonathan Price that people might know from like Tomorrow Never Dies and stuff like that. Yeah. Nope. A famous British actor. That's right. Nah. Um, and he's the the sparrow. The and she's Sparrow in Game of Thrones. That's right. So she's no. singing. She's singing. And this crewman comes up and says, oh, it's bad luck to be singing about pirates. All right. He's like scaring her or whatever. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then the like the the captain of the ship, um, uh, Norrington, comes over uh, and he's like, you're eight. I'm kind of into you later. 
when you're older. But theoretically no. into her now. Theoretically Ooh. into her now, he's kind of lighting up his career. He's he's grooming her. Kind of. Right. Orlando grooming her. He is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. But it's not Orlando Bloom. Oh, but he's, al- no, he's also not. talking about, we're going to hang every pirate, blah, blah, blah. And then the governor's like, I don't know, this is a great subject matter for my daughter. And then sure. they find a kid overboard. And they, they have to bring them on board. And as they it's see that, they also see that this ship has been like exploded. There's fire everywhere. They see a British flag they floating. They see a British in the flag floating. They're mm-hmm. undertaking a rescue mission. They and assume the girl, that it's a pirate. And the girl sees uh-huh. this black pirate ship sail away into the fog while that happens. Okay. Um, That's her cold open. The kid, his mm-hmm. he says his name is William Turner. And she <gasps> finds it's she him. finds like a uh like piece of gold with a skull like on, a it, coin. on him and mm. takes it from him it's like she's like oh my god he's a pirate mm. uh, yeah. and she's like obsessed with pirates clearly she's like oh my god he's a pirate and that's kind of like yeah the cold open of mm-hmm. yeah she like takes the coin to herself and then sort of the next scene is like flash forward i think it's 20 years well, it's, it's like it's, yeah, this, it's but, like eight years she like not no it's, yeah years. it is no because jack has jack gets ca- I'm deeping in, I'm digging into deeper lore here. Jack gets captaincy of the Black Pearl for 10 years per his agreement with Davy Jones. Yes. He's not captain for most of it because Barbosa takes over, which means that the time, f- and they don't get the Aztec gold until Barbosa's captain, which well, means the Dr. That Pirates podcast. It means that this all has to happen in less than 10 years. All this just to say that it didn't happen in 10 years. Did I say we're on not as nerds this time? <laughs> yeah, a couple you of cool guys. It, okay, but, but she so she wakes up, presumably dreaming about this incident. Now, this is just a yeah. more personal thing. Has has anyone ever? Have you ever dreamt memories? I've never dreamt a memory. Huh. But that's such a film trope, and I'm like, I don't think that's ever happened to me. Yeah, I see. I know no. what you're saying, right? Where no. you, you have like a photorealistic dream of an exact thing that happened to you. <laughs> yeah. But but exactly. but. But what about people that like suffer from PTSD? Like, do they not have like night terrors about what happened to them? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I guess. Yeah, I not having that myself. I Let me know. tell you a story. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, take it away. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> this better be about PTSD. <laughs> oh. Should have tuned this too. No, it's spookier this way. <clears throat> oh, I don't like no. this. <laughs> I can't. Zach, can you talk about PTSD? Are, are you having a Are you having an episode? <laughs> yes, uh, it's a family I, reunion. Uh, let's let's go back twenty years. Just do one more button up. I, I flash back to a time where I was I was better at improv, and uh, <laughs> and it was. <laughs> It was, it was glorious. It was glorious. I had I had much less chest hair, but Ooh, it was, why don't you uh, sing about it? Okay, no, this is that better. This is free form. <laughs> <laughs> I had a lot of chest hair a couple of years ago, mm. but then it all went away, and there was nothing I could do about it. it was Gotten a bad waxing accident. <laughs> oh no. And then you want to know what happened yeah. next? Well, tune in next time. Oh! You... They, they, they go, oh! they go to God. pull the strip of black. Zach wakes up. <gasps> Oh yeah. Just like just like what happened to Kira Knightley here. <laughs> I'm glad you I'm glad you picked up on that. I was I was kind of I didn't want to come out and say it, but I was trying to do like <laughs> layers to it. You're musically yeah. blue balling us, but I appreciate the cinematics. Yeah. Thank you. So yeah, Kira Knightley wakes up. Fun fact, I think Kira Knightley is like 17 in this. Movie. Really? Yeah. Ew. No, isn't that the love actually <laughs> fact? Oh, maybe. How come all of them do this? <laughs> or did she do they those all movies pull the same time? Mila Kunis. Yeah, I mean, she. Well, regardless, she's it was the pretty cheekbones. young. She she, 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 she could pass as older with the cheek. She's yeah, too cheekbones. young. Let's just say that she she wakes up. It's like noon, and uh, her dad, the governor, comes in, and he's like, "You're still in bed, you lazy. Oh, fuck. Why are you still in bed?" Ah. Uh, <laughs> but Thank he gets you. her a dress, and she's like, "Wow, this is really nice." And he's like, "Yeah, I'm a nice dad." Also, do you think you maybe want to wear it so the commodore thinks you're hot? 
Mm. <laughs> no, he's not the Commodore yet. He's getting promoted yeah, to Commodore that's, that's the that thing. day. This yeah. was the captain of the ship who was uh in was even like, then was like wait. in his thirties. Yeah. <laughs> and is now going to marry yeah. or wanting to marry. Yeah. Yeah. Elizabeth. Right. Finally, after all these years, all my plans. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> really Everything's coming it. together. <laughs> That's how it happens. Um, uh, but they go downstairs, and Will Turner's there. Will Turner, uh, played by Orlando Bloom, shows up, OB. and he's like, "I have the sword you requested. It's like a special ceremonial sword for this promotion ceremony." Yeah, and he's like flipping it, and he's like, "The weight's perfect. The I'm tang is the same this. width as the." He's got all this like sword talk. And he hands it over, and the governor goes, tell your master he did a good job. And Orlando Bloom's like, yeah, I'm just the apprentice, but I really am the one that made the sword. Yes. Oh. Um, so, well, I'm confused. Is Will, like, their son now? No, he just, like, lives in the town, in Port Royal. He's a blacksmith's apprentice, but the blacksmith is a drunk, so he's actually the one blacksmithing everything. Got you. He's very skilled uh, that way. He and Elizabeth the the girl uh, Kira Knightley are uh, good friends, uh, but he's like admiring her from afar because he's below her station. Kind of right, like, right. He's actually right. a bladesmith. Calling him a blacksmith is a little bit like talking down, down. That's why they use oh, it later. And they're cool. like, "You're just a blacksmith." He's actually a blade. But he but they don't only make swords. I think that's all it is. That's all that's in there is swords. That's all he makes. Yeah, fair. Okay. That's what he likes to do. He's a bladesmith, but um, but yeah. So, but the uh, you find out later in the movie that he had like spent some time with his mom in a different city, and then eventually came to Port Royal. Well, uh, yeah, he was on the way over to Port Royal when his ship got attacked as a kid. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Um, but they immediately cut now to. Uh, Mr. Sparrow coming into town. I gotta say, the, really? the, Mr. Sparrow. The intro Already? they give to Captain Jack is amazing. It's He's incredible. Like up on the crow's nest, the winds in his hair. You're like, oh, he must There's be in this giant sun. pirate ship. And then he like jumps down, and the it's just this dinky little boat. It's full of water, and he's like bucketing <laughs> water out of the boat and shit. And then there's this great shot where again he's climbed up into the crow's nest. The music is swelling. And it, he's like coming into the port and the camera pulls back and most of the ship is underwater. It's just like the mast going up to the dock. Like it's he just makes it to the dock. Which before is like the ship not ship how sinks. sinking works, but it's kind of amazing. Though. <laughs> <laughs> he just walks off the crow's nest like onto the dock. And then the oh, guy at the so dock silly. is just like, hey, you're going to have to pay to put your ship here. And he looks at the ship and it's like fully underwater. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty it's pretty funny. We get, you know, like he kind of like takes the guy's coin purse like surreptitiously we're like yes. oh what a scamp this pirate uh, this pirate it's truly like an incredible intro for a character and also like it's the first time you meet this character and johnny depp has gone like so deep into like he's got all these like physical ticks he's got like a voice i think he literally never like fully gets rid of anything. i think he never gets rid of no. it kind of ruins the rest of his career mm -hmm. But he gets nom he gets nominated for best actor for this performance because it's so good. Really was he? I didn't even. Uh, realize but it becomes that. one of those classic. The Oscars mm. won't award. Not it's like a family not, movie. Not drama. It's like a Disney. Things. He loses mm. to Sean Penn for Mystic River this year. Um, oh God, is that that one with a really he, bad intro? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So at I any mean, rate. a not very dissimilar intro. Just they go farther with the other one. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> at any rate, that's how we meet. Captain Jack Sparrow. Yeah, so he bribes yeah. his way into the uh, the the port. Yeah, um, there's that's also when a moment we start the where he ceremony. sees he sees some skeletons hung, and it's like pirates be warned, and he like yeah. salutes them. Or he <laughs> yeah, takes it's, his hat down, his hat it's, down to his chest. It's cute. Yeah, the sign says pirates ye be warned, which is funny because like none of the Brits talk like that, which mm. means they were like pirates won't understand it unless we write it the way uh, yeah. they talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't say no pirates here, thank you. It says <laughs> pirates ye be warned. It's like we want to make sure they will understand. This. Yeah. <laughs> be concerned, pirates. I, that's not for me. <laughs> no, it's clearly clearly not for me. <laughs> my attention. <laughs> um, but now we're in a big ceremony because, again, like we said oh, before, yes. uh, the the captain is becoming the commandant, which surely just means that you're not a captain commandant. It's not common. He's not Commodore. a German in the second world. Commodore. Commodore. <laughs> Commodore. Commodore. <laughs> Commodore. Which means that you are uh, you have authority over multiple ships, a fleet, not oh. just one. Yeah. Uh, so it's the next rank up in the in the Royal Navy after captain. Oh, yeah, he's rising up. He's so he's getting, he's getting He's getting promoted. 
Kira Knightley's there in her new dress, and she had been all cinched up in a corset. And they keep putting like the camera on the sun in that because it's hot. It's the Caribbean. She can't breathe in the corset because this is like the new fashion is corsets, and she was just like, I can't, like, I and literally can't. Breathe. Wait, literally the character you're saying in this in the filming of? No, no, the actual the character, character. Mm, is funny. saying she can't. Like, she actually makes comments about like not being able to breathe. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, like there's all this like sword stuff. Like they hand the Commodore the sword, and he like waves it, and throws it behind his back and stuff. He's like, and he goes like, "That's some good tang." Yeah, you know yeah. Tang this, means, but... this tang, it's at least as wide as the hilt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> baby. Yeah, space. Yeah, astronauts are gonna love this tang. Astronauts love swords. <laughs> um, I uh, but... don't get it that catchphrase again yeah me neither Um, i i I heard tang and i was like what is that i don't i don't know what tang is it's in a pouch now (laughs) oh are we talking about the beverage so apparently swords have tang yes you put your sword in a pouch so it doesn't stab you see this guy gets it uh (gasps) so they're at this ceremony and it goes pretty well or whatever but as that's happening we then cut to sparrow sparrow is talking to these two random british officers who are guarding uh, like a British Royal Navy ship called the Interceptor. It's the fastest Navy ship that they have. And these two guys are kind of like, they got like a Laurel and Hardy kind of yes. bumbly thing that they're doing. Um, and Jack Sparrow's trying to like trick them. But he's like, this is the fastest ship. And they're like, yeah, fastest in all of the ocean. And he's like, well, I heard there's a faster ship. Yeah, he's like the Black mm. Pearl. And then these two basically... British officers give us all the exposition on the Black Pearl that it's like the fastest pirate ship. It's this dread ship that no one can catch and no one's seen. It doesn't make right. port. Like the the crew is damned. All this we're learning all this stuff about this like that was ship. the ship from yes. earlier. That's right. Exactly. And they're arguing if it's even real or not. And as that's happening, uh, Sparrow just goes aboard the ship. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. He just goes aboard the interceptor, and they're like. What are you doing here? And he's like, Do you want the truth? And they're like, Yeah, don't lie to us. And he's like, I'm gonna commandeer this ship. And they nice. go, No, don't lie to us. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> so that's happening. And we cut back to if the ceremony's done, and Norrington kind of saunters over to Elizabeth and says, Hey, remember when you were eight? Now you are. Ew. Um <laughs> he, he's kind of saying, like, I've achieved a lot, I'm pretty cool, but I still don't have a wife, wink. Ew. And she can't breathe in the corset. She kind of passes out. And they're like falls, on the top of a tower. Falls off the fort into <gasps> the water. And what? He can't jump down to get her because there's too many rocks. They say it's a miracle she missed them. And Jack down below on the interceptor sees it and says, are either of you going to save her? And the, both the British naval guys are like, we can't swim. So he's oh like, hold, hold my stuff. And Jack jumps in the water mm. and swims and then, down. And while like, she's in the water, off. while and, she's in the uh, water, though, she's wearing the pirate necklace, like the pirate yeah. gold medallion that she found on Will all those years ago. Uh-huh. And it like bursts like it causes like a, a, a sound wave through yeah. the ocean. Yeah, it gives out like a beacon kind of yeah. thing that which is these like, not, two funny kind of like soldiers who have a little shtick that we didn't get into but it's funny that they it. do that because it's not just like a metaphor like it's calling out it's like there's a wave and then the two brits go what was that mm. <laughs> they like, they like <laughs> call attention very literally to the thing which is sort of odd but as she's like pulled up from the water the wind starts like blowing quickly and you can see that there's now suddenly a storm coming in yeah like something magical Magic. is happening and yeah exactly yeah, um, and, and so, so uh, pulls her up onto the deck, and then all the Brits are there, and they're like, "You're a pirate, hang him!" And she's like, "He just saved me," and they're like, right. "All right." And then Norrington, oh, okay. <laughs> Norrington, like pulls up his sleeve, and he sees a brand and a tattoo, and he's so the brand indicates that he's that uh, had a run in with the East India are Trading sure Company. He's not a commandant. Wait, 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 he just pulls up Sparrow's sleeve. No, he pulls up oh. like Johnny Depp's sleeve. He sort of like goes to Why? shake his hand and he does to it prove that he's a pirate. To prove that he's a pirate because he's got a brand that the East India <laughs> Trading Company like caught him. And then he has a tattoo and he goes, Oh, you're Jack Sparrow. Uh, and then he goes, like, Oh, your gun's a piece of shit. You have no boat in the harbor. You must be the worst pirate I've ever heard of. And he goes, But you have heard of me, <laughs> which is <laughs> kind of a great line. Mm. Um, um, but at that point, that's when. Uh, Jack grabs Kira Knightley uh, with his like handcuffs on now. Yeah. And he basically like pulls a chain across her neck and basically is like, I'll fucking kill her if you don't let me go. Yeah. He's like, give me my things. 
uh, she makes Kira Knightley put on his like gun belt and all that stuff in his hat. And then he says this. You'll always remember this as the day you almost caught Captain Jack Sparrow. And it starts this like insane sequence where he like grabs a rope, hits a thing, flies up in the air, swings around a bunch of ships while they're all shooting at him. Uh, there's like a big chase and stuff. He ends up going into town. Yeah, it's, uh, because he do, he can't get he can't get away any other way. So he goes into it's town. Very funny. Mm-hmm. Uh, and ends up walking into a bladesmith shop. Yeah, uh, and he tries to hide in there, but Orlando Bloom comes back and he goes, "I'm meticulous." Even though the drunk true bladesmiths in the corner, I know where I left my tools, and they aren't left in the same spot because Jack's been trying to get his handcuffs off. Yeah, mm-hmm. and so then we get this like showdown with him and Jack. Great fight. Incredible sword fight. Like, really good sword fight. Orlando Bloom says, I make all these swords and I practice with them constantly because I don't have a life. Well, and then well, Sparrow even goes, uh, Sparrow says, essentially. You, you need a girl, mate. Like, and then he goes, oh, maybe there is a girl and you can't have her. And that's why you do this. It's a it's a good bit of banter. Like, this movie does a pretty good job of giving you, like, a lot of exposition in the middle of things that are more interesting. Basically, every right. scene gives you a little bit more information. It's a thing this movie almost does, like, perfectly, which is, like, every single scene gives you a little bit more information about something. You kind of can't cut any more of this movie no. out because they've, like, spread all that good info out, like, pretty well. Yeah, they give either give you context or, like, a deeper understanding of a character character or you give like a bit more exposition so they have this big sword fight that's a, a really cool and a lot of fun or whatever and then like near the end of it sparrow's about to win and the drunk bladesmith wakes up and bottles johnny depp and knocks him out and gets the credit for it oh my um, god so, so he gets silly. put in jail so yeah sparrow goes to jail and is it one of that, these jails we, no, no no it's more of like a like a cage just in like the iron cage just kind, of thing, you know, kind of thing yeah. stone work exactly mm-hmm. but Zach, that's when we you, uh, summarize what we just talked about there yes please yeah <laughs> right Sing it. right from do it, right to her waking in johnny up. depp's <laughs> do it in johnny depp's jack sparrow voice <laughs> all right seven whoa From, from where, sorry? Ugh. Just <laughs> anywhere. He's got that sparrow on birds. I was on a boat. I was talking to some friends when I saw a girl. She fell off into the deep end. So I dived into the water. <laughs> and I pulled her ashore. And I, saw around her neck a medallion and I wanted to know more but you know what I did instead find out neck no I I (laughs) ran away (laughs) I ran away I ran away I defied physics and I ran away I hit a giant rope and I flew through the air and I knocked off their little white wigged hairs because nice. everybody wore white wigs in that movie I don't, I don't know if we mentioned that but they do <laughs> that's fun you know that's that nice yeah that song- I'm gonna get more drinks <laughs> Good. And also, it made me think of a thing we didn't mention. Mm. One of those bits of information that we get. That's it's so really well, hard to do Jack Sparrow's voice. Well, A, that, but also <laughs> one of the things they pack into that fight scene with Will Turner mm-hmm. is that he has a he has the pistol with one shot that Norrington was like, that's a piece of shit. Um, he goes like, this shot isn't meant for you. Like, he could end the he's fight like, don't with make Turner, but he's like, this. don't make me waste this shot. Mm-hmm. And you go, oh, what's that about? This guy's mysterious. Ah, he's like, I'm not gonna first. blow my shot yeah um, yeah <laughs> i mean you blew that one he's got a scholarship to tortuga college s-p-a-r-r-o-w yeah. <laughs> he's named the gun check off and uh oh. yeah keeps it on uh his uh his person there <laughs> yeah so uh so he's he's in prison all of that shit has happened it's nighttime now and like kira knightley's being put to bed by like the maid staff or whatever and they're like you've had a busy day hey are you gonna fuck that blacksmith and she's like (laughs) what and uh and then just as like stuff's kind of calming down 
uh, like Norrington and the governor just like walking around the battlements talking about shit. how much they fucking rule. Yeah, like we're dope. That pirate sucks. You could totally bang my daughter, whatever. <laughs> and then and then all of a sudden cannon fire incoming and you look out in the bay and there's one ship all black black, black. tattered sails mm. pirate flag it's the black pearl and it starts this big battle between the town of port royal <gasps> and the ship and uh, pirates come ashore and they start raiding the town <gasps> and it's this yeah. big like there's multiple kind of set pieces going on like will turner is fighting in town kira knightley's trying to run away like in the house and is being chased by these pirates. two kind of like comedy pirates. Yeah, they keep they they're like looking for her in the in her sort of governor's mansion. Yeah, and they're like, "Hello, puppet." Hello, puppet. Yeah, okay. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and she she, she says that her the right of parlay. Yeah, she knows so much about pirates that she says parlay, and they go, "What?" And she goes, "According to the like, pirate code, uh, you have to take me to your captain now." And they're like, "Oh." God damn fucking pirate well, rules. I think at first they go they go like it's they think it's funny, but the one guy's like, oh, she'll go with us yeah. like we want. And she won't fight. Mm. Yeah. So like let's just do it. Yeah. yeah. Uh which is very mm. funny. Uh Will tries to save her. Uh yeah. he sees her being taken away. And then he gets like frying pan headed or Ooh. whatever. Like someone just hits him and knocks him out. Yeah. Some uh, of the pirates find Jack Sparrow in jail. Yeah. A bunch of other pirates escape jail because the wall gets blown out but nice. not sparrow's cell so he's still stuck oh, there gosh. and uh, these two other pirates come in they go it's captain jack sparrow we haven't seen you since we left you on that island or whatever and the moon is out and jack's like oh like you know whatever fresh hell i'm gonna send you to or something and the pirate reaches <laughs> through the bars and grabs jack grab his arm goes into the moonlight and in the moonlight you see that he's just a skeleton and he says, you know nothing about hell. And then puts mm. Jack down. These so are the pirates the off the ship. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But <clears throat> um, um, uh, they got off the boat and there was probably moonlight. No, there wasn't. It was like cloudy because yeah, like the storm, the magic storm Hence had rolled storm, in. Yeah. Weather. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Listen, this movie is unassailable. It's yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, are we gonna get a song? I, I, hi. <laughs> no, How's it going? No, um, no. about what? About skeleton pirates. Being Ooh. a pirate boy, uh, knowing nothing about hell. Being a pirate isn't that easy. Yar. <laughs> oh, she ain't. We got to make sure the winds are breezy so we can <laughs> get anywhere. And then we gotta raid and pillage. We gotta burn down that village. We gotta take girls to our captain just because they say party. We got. Oh no. <laughs> Also, we can't eat dinner. <laughs> also, we, we there can't yet. eat lunch. What? We're not there Also, yet. we can't <laughs> eat anything. Whoa, whoa. Ex oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can hear you yelling at me, but uh, like I, I have to focus on... <laughs> the singer's giving exposition. We have not heard oh, yet. too silly. They can't eat breakfast though, and they can oh. eat like they can have snacks. It's just uh, lunches aren't allowed. It's just a pirate <laughs> thing. That's all. Well, oh, you know. told me we would get to talk about the movie. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Zach. Zach, I have to send you away now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but now, Kira Knightley's character Elizabeth is on the Black Pearl to meet the captain. Nice, yeah, nice. Captain Barbosa, played by uh, played by Jeffrey Rush. Yeah, uh, Barbosa, huge. Huge uh, British actor. You'd know him in like The King's Speech. Nope. Uh, you'd also know him as Casanova Frankenstein in Mystery Men. Nope. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> He's, uh, uh, at any rate, he comes out nope. and she says, I'm here to negotiate the cessation of hostilities against Port Royal. And he goes, oh, a lot of big words in there. We're not but humble pirates. And she right. says, leave. Don't come back. And he has this great line where he says, well, I'm disinclined to acquiesce to your request. Means no. Yeah. <laughs> uh, which is really fucking good. God, it's a great line. It's a really good line. Uh, nice. But basically, he takes the medallion. She knows they want the medallion. So she kind of like tricks them into 
exposing they want it. And then she says her name is Elizabeth Turner, which is she doesn't Will's want it. She doesn't want them to know she's Orlando the governor's Bloom's last name. She doesn't want to, them to know she's the governor's daughter because that makes her too valuable or whatever. <laughs> but when she says Elizabeth Turner. She actually Turner, gets more valuable because she says her last name is Turner. Yeah. She says Turner and all the pirates go bootstrap, bootstrap, bootstrap. Uh-huh. And bootstrap. then they're like, okay, like you're staying Boob with trap. us. Missy and she's like I'll, I'll I'll let you have the coin but you have to leave town now yeah. and they say all right great and then they just go to leave and she's like you have to take me back to shore and uh, Barbosa says you didn't specify that in your request so I don't have to right. do jack shit well, you're not a pirate yeah. the pirate code doesn't count for you and also it's not really like laws it's kind of like suggestions yeah. yeah right <laughs> so, they, so they, they kidnap her yeah yeah got it yeah and then meanwhile uh Mr. Will Turner's getting all upsetty because yeah, then we go to the next day and uh, the, Will the... wakes up in the street with like chickens around him. Yeah, mm. <laughs> remember then... back in the day when chickens yeah. were just in the street? Yeah. yeah, God, those were the days. Be That's like, hey, what are we having for dinner? Do you want some street chicken? Street chicken. <laughs> street. You can meat. still what, get that though, isn't brand. that? Yeah. <laughs> get street chicken. Oh yeah. Um, but the Navy is trying to now figure out, like, with the governor, how are they going to get uh, uh, her back? And Will shows up and is just like, "Look, like, let's go." And they're like, "Fucking chill, dude. Like, we care about her too." And he's like, "Look, like, you have a fucking pirate in there. They clearly know that guy." And they're like, "They left that pirate in there, yeah. so clearly they don't they don't care that much about him. So they probably aren't even associated with him. We're going to keep doing our plan." And Will freaks I out, see. puts his like he puts his sword like through their map and yeah. that's when Norrington is like dude fucking chill like Norrington's like you think you're the only one that wants to bang Elizabeth <laughs> <laughs> I've wanted this for nine years <laughs> and Will's uh, like wait a minute that means <laughs> ever uh, since the day we stu- we saved you from drowning Will I've wanted to bang that <laughs> <laughs> don't ruin this for me I can finally do it legally <laughs> it's, this is actually the one kind of gross part of this movie remember I yeah. said the movie wasn't gross <laughs> this, this part's this gross yeah yeah um <laughs> so will decides he's gonna deal with this on his own and he goes to find jack sparrow and he and breaks him out of prison he's like i'm a blacksmith i made these cells he doesn't just make swords mm. ah. boom roasted um <laughs> oh. yeah there's like God, a phys- he like goes into a physics lesson in this scene he oh, does he's like name. leverage well he says leverage because it's orlando bloom <laughs> <laughs> i want to just take this moment to say i watched this movie last night again as a refresher with my wife and my wife threw out last night what i thought was a really hot take but now i think i agree with her and she was like orlando bloom not that hot right what and no let me tell you let me I tell think you I, I think i kind of agree no one time listen i got a phone call like two from weeks orlando ago. bloom no 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 no. two weeks ago from my friends and they literally were like a right. can you verify is this actor hot or not and then i'm not kidding we spent the next two act two hours going through male actors that are supposed to be attractive but we've realized are not actually yeah we, is he not hot famous. in this movie or is he is he hot in lord of the rings i think well i my wife said she preferred him in Lord of the Rings to this. And then I said, I actually like think he's hottest in The Hobbit as opposed to Lord of the Rings. So as an actor, he's older. He's like kind of grown into his like features a bit. And he's a bit buffered. Tell I actually me, think. Tell me more about what you think. I think he's hotter hot now. I think I he's think hotter he's, now. I think like scruffy Orlando Bloom, like, like in Pirates or like Kingdom of Heaven. With the, oh, like, yeah. The, he's in the, I'm sorry. Too. I need a hotter not yeah. song. Yeah. Hotter okay. not song. Hotter have not you seen song. that Netflix series Easy where him and his wife Malin Ackerman have a threesome? No. He's hot uh, now. Fit it into the song. Shut up, Will. <laughs> <laughs> Cut the live Shut stream. Up, Will. <laughs> I mean, he's not unattractive. Thank you. He's got long hair and a bit of a scruff. Right. He's got a eyes that can make you say. Nothing will ever be enough. There'll be a nose that is just the right size, not a big <laughs> size, just the right size. And he's got good thighs. He is a Lando. Your wife thought this was hot? <laughs> I mean, bad he's picture. So He's hot. 
Thank you. I love how good that song was for the first two lines. <laughs> <laughs> and that his nose is the right size. His nose is the right size. <laughs> for it's not a lie. It's not a lie. Though. I, just, Andy, I just couldn't fit the line. Uh, I love that. <laughs> so, yeah, Orlando Bloom breaks uh, Jack Sparrow out of prison and they decide that they need a ship and so that uh jack sparrow is like time to go back to a ship stealing plan he goes <coughs> we're gonna go get that ship and he points at the biggest possible ship the like one that's, that's like, like norrington's newest ship right it's, it's like called the, the dauntless ship. Ship. it's like well, a the, skyscraper the, of a ship the interceptor is the fastest ship. oh that's yeah, the one yeah. they want yeah but they they go to take the dauntless which is a bigger like warship yeah. And so they to do that, it's out in the bay. So they walk out with like a, a boat over their heads so they ah. can like breathe and they're underwater, like mm. walking. Um, which I think you have to be like impossibly either heavy or strong to pull off. Yeah. Um, but they do that and they get out there and they get on the ship and they force like the couple of British officers that are there off the ship. Mm -hmm. And then they try to take that ship out, and the guys are like, you can't. Like crew this with two yeah. people. Your guys are going to get caught, and they go. So the All Navy right. goes inside the uh, the interceptor and pulls up next to the Dauntless because they're like these yeah. fucking idiots. We'll get rid of them. So the interceptor pulls up, and then everyone on the interceptor gets on the Dauntless to find them, and they swing over and take the interceptor, which is faster, and nice. get away. And and the Dauntless can't even shoot at them because uh, Jack Sparrow's disabled their rudder chain. Yes. So uh, they would steal. The Navy's fastest ship to go after the Black Pearl, basically. Nice. Very funny. Um, Will oh, sorry, we didn't mention when they break Sparrow out of prison. Yeah. Uh, he says uh, he learns that Will's name is Will Turner. Yeah. And he goes, "Name for your father, no doubt." And there's you're kind of like this is the they second sprinkle, time they people are like these things Turner, in, yeah. Turner, what's happening? Here? Well, and then so. when they're on the interceptors, they start having a conversation. Yeah. That's when Will finds out that. His dad was a pirate. Yeah. He refuses to believe it, but he's just like, yeah. buddy, you're bootstrap dad. Bill Turner. Yeah, he was he was cool. a scoundrel. Also, I so, think I think it's I think it's the last one of this, but there's a reference to the original ride. Like the original oh. um when he's in the prison, he's trying to escape when uh and he's trying to get this dog to bring him the keys. And there's this yeah. dog who has uh which was like, uh, as you, you were on this Disney ride, you'd be going along and there'd be a bunch of animatronic pirates in a cage trying oh, to get this, cute. trying to lure this dog over that's with a bone cute. when the dog's got like a ring of keys in his thing. And uh, and then an animatronic like somehow Jane shows up. And, no, no. Yeah. wrong pirates. <laughs> uh, but they need to now get a crew. Uh, they, they've got yeah. enough that they can sort of yeah. uh, uh, be on this boat, but not so enough. They to go to Tortuga. That's right. To Tortuga, the which pirate is like island. this pirate haven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and, and they, they find every, Gibbs. Everyone's drunk. And yeah, they find Gibbs, who was the sailor that was like scaring young Elizabeth. Like, oh, it's a fearful bad luck to have a woman on a ship. Like all this kind of shit that he said. That's rude. They find him. <laughs> and then they like basically recruit this like ragtag crew that somehow Fun. includes somehow includes Zoe Saldana, which I, I forgot. Yeah, I totally, I totally forgot. This. <laughs> Zoe Saldana, she's oh. Gamora in Guardians of the Galaxy. She was in okay. like the more recent Star Trek movies and mm -hmm. Avatar. Avatar, yeah, yeah, all sorts of big stuff. Uh, Does so she only play people that are like colored? <laughs> Whoa, my God. What? She's green. Like aliens. She's blue. <laughs> what? That, that is a, that is a charged word you threw out there. Good Lord. But is that a fact? Like, oh, if, but she's a pirate in this one, yeah? If I paint myself, I'm colored. I don't understand. Stop saying it. I'm man. a different She's color. Stop saying it. I don't see what's so problem. <laughs> so the pirate group gets together. <laughs> oh, we're done. <laughs> I was like, yeah, do it. <laughs> Damn I it. I, want, I fucking dare you. Fucking RCMP to kick the door down. <laughs> um, so yeah, they yeah, go, they, they set the sail to together. The Isle they, de Muerta. Yeah, the Isla de Muerta. So, uh, yeah, Sparrow's yes. been saying, Sparrow's been saying that uh, the Black Pearl mm -hmm. only ports at Isla de Muerta. It's an island that can't be found except by people that know where it is. Yes. Basically, which this oh, whole time yes. Jack Sparrow's been made fun of because he has this compass that doesn't point north. It doesn't point north. So that they're on the way, and Why? Orlando Bloom says to Gibbs, like, "How are we going to find this island?" with a compass that doesn't work. And Gibbs says, the compass doesn't point north. 
Exactly. And you go, so, oh, yeah. it's like a secret compass. But then we cut to Get Elizabeth it. on the Black Pearl. The compass points to the where, the, where they want to go. Yeah. <gasps> oh. Yeah. Like, so now we get okay. Elizabeth. The compass becomes the weirdly pearl. important in later yes. movies. <laughs> yes. It gets spun off into its own like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Elizabeth is on the Black Pearl, and uh, the captain asks that she come to his room and mm. gives her like a dress that she For can wear. Dinner. Mm. Wink, wink. Mm. Um, which she does. She shows up, and he just wants her to like eat a bunch of food. It's maybe the it's most. A sting. It's the most sexual thing in the movie. He's no. like, he's like, there's no need to stand on ceremony. Just eat. You must be hungry. She starts like digging into like a fucking turkey leg and stuff. And, and he's, he's just like, drink yeah, the wine do you want to eat? Do you want to eat this? Yeah, drink <laughs> that. Have this fucking apple. Bite it for me. And she's like, it's the food's poisoned. And he's like, no. What would be the point in killing you? Yeah. Mm. Eat, Actually, I just can't fucking of, eat lunch. In this scene, <laughs> wait, we, what? <laughs> what? In this scene, we learn what the curse is on yes. the crew. Is that they he can't says, eat? So that piece of gold that she had is yeah, a piece they just of got gastric by bypass surgery. Yeah. Yeah. Is that yeah, what anyway. happens when you can't when you do that? When you become a pirate, they you do can't the gastric yeah, bypass. You become a moonlight skeleton when you yeah. get gastric that bypass. Sucks. <laughs> um, you got it. So, they have this that gold coin, and he says it's Aztec gold. It was like cursed because of the conquistador Cortez, real life historical figure. Um, <gasps> and uh, if you take the the gold, you're cursed. It's kind of like a um, oh shit. It's it's like a Greek uh, myth <sighs> one. It's like Tantalus in Greek mythology. I don't Tantalus, know what that is. I'm no about does. to explain it. <laughs> <laughs> in Greek mythology, Tantalus. It's where we get the word tantalize. Oh. Is uh, he reaches for grapes, he can't reach them. He tries to drink the wine, Aww. it recedes, he can't drink it. And they have that kind of curse going where they can no longer taste food, it turns to ash in their mouths. Drink doesn't satisfy, like they Aww. can't satisfy sexual urges, they don't feel anymore. They're always hungry, they're always thirsty. And then he throws open the doors, and it's moonlight. And all he says, Moonlight reveals us for what we are. Un, like undead, we're not of the living, we're not dead. And so you see this skeleton crew kind of sequence the music mm. kind of pumps in and Funny. you see all these skeletons doing jobs and stuff. <laughs> yeah it's yeah, by the much. way oh. i'm pretty sure it's a hot mm. simmer score but incredible music in this movie yeah very wild very good. wildly Give good score that's Hans zimmer zach um pirating pirating is a uh, complicated profession no that's that's <laughs> murder oh yeah whatever <laughs> sounds very similar to don't worry, I thought that too. Uh -huh. <laughs> I get it. Oh, cool. oh my god, Will, Will. Did you actually get the licensing for that? That's that sounded Wait. just like the movie. Wait, is uh, Hans Zimmer yeah. off screen? <laughs> Hans Stop. Zimmer got, joins the chat. That'd be awesome. <laughs> when are we getting Jack Hello, Black? It's, on? it's me. Uh, I'm Hans. Uh, Hans <laughs> oh, Zimmer. Yeah. So basically, nice. yeah. In, in this scene, yeah, Barbosa says the reason it doesn't make sense to kill you now is we have to replay, re repay the blood of Cortez. We have to put every coin back and repay the blood of Cortez, and then the mm. curse will be lifted. So, so that's why, knows. like, they, you're sort of cluing into, like, oh, shit, Turner, pirate coin. Like, what do they need? They need blood, curse. It's starting to, like, all the pieces are Here's coming Here's the part together. that I never fully understood. Do they need everyone's blood to be on a, a piece of coin? Yes. Okay, yeah. So everyone so, that took... Everyone that took gold their blood has to go in there yes oh. but there's also more gold than just number of pirates but if they're so, all bones how do they get the blood they can still bleed when it, when it's not moonlight they can still like cut and stuff but they just don't die <laughs> it's a weird physics thing because you think it's like oh the moonlight like shows what they really are but it's actually like more than that when they're not in the moonlight they actually like have skin yeah and you're blood. right yeah it's mm. yeah it's not like a hologram it's no. like yeah they fully change from people to Skeleton. Okay, I get it. 
Yeah. So, <laughs> Thank you. yeah. So they've got to take, they think that she is the daughter of their uh, old uh, uh, pirate, Will oh, Turner, which yeah. we don't really know what the story of him is. But they're like, good. We've got his DNA because we've got this girl. We've got the last piece of gold. So now we can free ourselves so, from this curse. So they bring her there and they do this big, like, blustery speech. And he, like, just cuts her hand a bit. And she goes, is that it? And he goes, waste not. And he, <laughs> I don't know why he said it like Borat. Waste not. Uh, it's very <laughs> nice. <laughs> They put her blood on the coin and toss it in. Hold on a second. And nothing happens. Hold, please. Yeah. So this old William pirate um, apparently took the the this Cortez treasure with them, but he's not undead with them. Well, here, I'll, I'll just we'll jump ahead a bit. We eventually learn that Barbosa and the crew of the Black Pearl used to be under the command of Jack Sparrow, mm-hmm. but they mutinied. They found out where Ila de Muerta was from him. They mutinied. They left him on an island to die. Bootstrap Bill didn't like that they did that and sort of was like dissenting, and they uh, strap bootstraps bootstraps to a cannon and shoot him overboard. Bootstraps, bootstraps. And that's before they know that they need his blood to reverse the curse. So basically they kill Bootstrap before but he gives his co- the coin to his son before he yeah killed. but mm-hmm. they all knew at that point that they were all cursed no they no. didn't um, know they were cursed yet because it, it happened like over time like yeah. the more they spent the coins the more they, the more they, they other ate people. and like yeah yeah the, basically the more that they kept it away from its original source which which even disseminating it makes okay. it even farther yeah. removed so the more mm-hmm. that they used it the more that they were become undead so okay. that's the short version of there's bootstrap okay. bill turner yes <laughs> so they're they're now at their basically like their gold store inside of the Ilo de Morte. they yeah. basically this is where they keep all of their gold but right in the center of it on a pile of gold is the chest of the aztec gold yeah mm-hmm. they put the coin in with her blood nothing happens they go what and he goes what's your name and she goes elizabeth swan <laughs> <laughs> or whatever and he goes on ah. and then all the pirates start going like you you did this like they're all like turning on barbosa because but like, as this happens the sparrow and turner yeah. ha- have arrived at the island and are sneaking around the outside of it basically yeah. going like we're gonna have to save her now and sparrow this whole time has had a plan where he was going to give them will turner so that he could get a ship back so yeah. uh and will turner had overheard that so at the point where he was going to do it will turner knocks him out and goes and saves elizabeth from mm-hmm. being killed because now they don't need her yeah right and uh yeah now i'm actually slightly drawing a blank how no, they no, get no. out of this scene how do they get out of this scene i know what happens they basically this, sneak but... out because they're all sort of having this infighting yeah. um they uh will gets uh, elizabeth and the gold coin free without the pirates noticing they figure out uh that that's happening and they go after her they run into sparrow right. at that time because he finally gains consciousness they capture him yeah just as he asks to parlay with the captain <gasps> Oh yeah, right, right, right. What does parlay uh, mean? It's so, what she used it, uh, uh, in the beginning of the movie. It basically, just means like, "Hey, I want to hang out with your." It's captain. kind of like a like a like a war games like term of surrender. Like, don't hurt me. I said parlay. It means I want to open yeah. like talks. Yes, yeah. which is and you're not so, you're, talk. And you're not so yeah, and you're and you're not supposed to like harm messengers and things like that if you're like mm-hmm. conducting yourself honorably exactly and all the pirates say parlay and then they all meet at the capitol and then they yeah. the capitol. <laughs> january 6th i don't um, get it i don't get it i don't that's, get it. that's parlor that's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> people um, were calling it parlay as i but as they're about to basically go like fuck you like we don't need you jack they uh, <laughs> he basically goes like uh, he tells the pearl crew that i know why the uh that the spell didn't work i mm. know who turner is yeah they're saying i know whose blood you need yes mm-hmm, and meanwhile mm-hmm, yeah mm-hmm. will and elizabeth get back on the they're the other the interceptor yeah and they take yeah. the interceptor and leave with that crew and the black pearl chases behind with jack sparrow now yeah. and their whole sort of damned crew what does As will they, think of his dad being a pirate does he he's like not it? happy about it no, he's he kind of has like he kind of has a luke skywalker like that's impossible no, no! <laughs> What does it matter? Well, because he thinks that he's like this honorable person who wants to be worthy of Elizabeth. Yeah. So his whole life is about like making himself more valuable yeah. and, and worthy and like. But as- nobody else knows. Yeah, but to him, it's more of a slight on him. Like he can never yeah. truly be good enough. It's almost like he knows in his blood that he's like lower than she is kind of thing. And that's like all oh, yeah. he cares about is being with her. So 
the Black Pearl chases after their ship, uh, and they realize that like this ship's way faster than ours. So they start trying to get rid of shit off of their ship so that they can so they can move faster yeah. and so that they can run shallower because <laughs> they want to try and lose the pearl over like shoals and stuff. Yeah, exactly. But they're they're not fast enough. They're throwing out like actual cannons. They're, by the time they realize they're not going to outpace them, they've already thrown cannonballs and stuff overboard. So then they're like, load the cannons with forks. They're just like throwing <laughs> shit in the cannons. There's a really cool yeah. ship to ship cannon. Yeah, they like, anchor the ship because pattern. they're like, well, we can't get away. Maybe we can get at least like a better They maneuver. Tokyo drift the intercept. <laughs> they drop the anchor and like whip yet. it around. <laughs> um, they drop anchor so the ship just like is forced to turn really quickly. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. So that yeah. they're now, their weapons are facing their ship. Mm. So yeah. at that moment, their ships sort of eventually line up against each other and they just start shooting forks and knives at each other. I think this That's is another funny. thing I love about this movie is like so much of it is shot like practically I mean, yeah but like you could tell that like some like obviously it's special effects so that they're not shooting actual cannonballs at each other but and they're not actually damn but there's actual explosions <laughs> sure. like like wood is splintering things like yeah. they've set up an actual like stunt set for it it looks mm -hmm. great it's a great battle where they're just shooting cannons jack's getting really mad because they're shooting cannons at his, or at, like at stuff at his the black pearl and he's like stop shooting my ship he tries to chase barbosa's monkey pet monkey who has the coin <laughs> oh, okay. uh, yeah the so monkey's also a skeleton by the way i like it. yeah <laughs> it is funny that like at one Four. point jack looks like he's going to help elizabeth or someone else and then he sees the monkey and he just goes monkey and kind of like runs <laughs> after it it's like jack sparrow run right <laughs> but uh, at the end of it the black pearl wins the battle black pearl wins they Taking, capture the crew of the, yeah, the entire crew and they blow up the other ship with will they assume is inside of yeah. it because will was at the bottom of it trying to get the coin he was like drowning as but it the was monkey sinking, had already yeah. monkey had taken it away from him so now he's stuck at the bottom of this sinking ship which then explodes they assume that he's not on it. yeah and then but but then will climbs up on the black pearl and he says uh, you're gonna let them all go, or I'm gonna kill myself. And, and they're like, and Sparrow's like, you? oh, this fucking kid. <laughs> and he's like, I'm Will Turner, Bootstrap Bill's boy. Mm. So unless you want my blood out of the ship, you're gonna <laughs> let these people go. And again, it's one of those things where like he fails to include things in his terms. Yes. So like, not everything. Like, so, uh, he wants so, to the, so let the pearl, go. the pearl leaves Elizabeth and uh, Sparrow on the island where they had Maroon Sparrow before. Yeah, where mm. they are initially mutant. And, and we didn't talk, get I don't think we did talk about this, but, uh, you know, there's like stories of how Jack got off the island. To Jack is sort of legendary, you know, yeah. like, be, uh, like to the, to the like point Napoleon. where, yeah, to, but uh, yeah, to the point where it's like, it's myth, like Gibbs at one point says he got off the island by standing in the shallow water until animals became acclimatized to him, that he lashed two sea turtles four, together. <laughs> four sea turtles. Yeah. <laughs> And they're like, like what with what? Like, what did you use for rope? And Jack Sparrow yeah. says, hair from my back. Human hair from my back. Yeah. What yeah. He's hell? just it's clearly a made up story, but he's so like mm -hmm. mythic that people have made up all these legends about yeah. him. And we learn when they get marooned that like that island used to get a ton of traffic because there were rum runners that used it. Mm. And uh, he just like bartered passage mm. off. He was only there three days. He spent three days sitting on the beach drinking rum. Well, yeah, it's right. like not a big heroic thing yeah. or yeah, anything. Yeah. Like and that. now they're stuck on this island that the rum runners don't use anymore. Yeah. And so, so Jack's like, well, we're fucked. Yeah. So now they're like, fuck. Yeah. So well, Zach, 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 Zach. I need you to sing about Jack Sparrow's like legends, but Ooh, don't, yeah. don't don't rip off the Lonely Island. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, um, okay. As Jack Sparrow, or no, that wouldn't make sense. Oh, he's a man who can do anything. He can fly, he can get off islands, he can drink a lot of rum, and he can do anything, anything. compass that doesn't work he's got a gun that only fires one shot he's got a long black hair <laughs> are they are they is it 
He's got long black hair, he's got all <laughs> kinds of crew members, he's got all kinds of legends about him, and I don't remember what exactly they are, but that's what this song is supposed to be about. <laughs> nice. Beautiful. Perfect. Incredible. Love it. So okay. Elizabeth we'll finish this and get another one. <laughs> Elizabeth comes up with this plan where she's like, "We have some rum that's left over from when this used to be like a useful island." Yes. Let's so she kind drunk. of she gets drunk with oh. Sparrow, mostly oh. just to get him drunk and out of her. She's way. actually not even getting drunk. She's, she keeps pouring out the drinks. But they're dancing around this fire. They're singing the pirate song, and there's some sexual tension. There is of course, kind of. But that comes later in the series, right? Yeah. Or is that her? No, that's her. That's her trying to like, yeah, kind of seduce him a little. Yeah, bit. she's yeah, yeah. she's playing it up for it him worked. or whatever. He passes out drinking rum when he wakes up. She has been torching the rum and setting like trees. the trees on the island on fire. And we get this iconic line from Jack Sparrow where he goes, "Where's all the rum? Where's the rum gone? But well, why is the rum gone?" <laughs> <laughs> um, Very funny. And she's like. Do you think that a, a fire and smoke this high is not going to get seen by an entire British Navy trying yeah. to find me? She's like, I'm the mm. governor's daughter. This is a thousand foot high fire. It'll the be here in like an Navy's hour. Looking for me. Yeah. Mm. So just sit but tight. Why is the rum gone? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he storms away and he's like, this is what a stupid thing. And he like goes Crest. over this hill yeah. and he sees like a Royal Navy ship. Mm. And he's it's like, there'll be no living with her after this. It's a great line. <laughs> it's a good line. It's a good line read. <laughs> um, but in this scene when they're singing the song i don't know all the lines to the pirates to yoho but Excuse one of, me? One of know, the I'm lines is something either. something and really bad eggs so that's the name of the drink that we all came up with for today mm. really a line, a line from the yoho song yeah great Deep cut. i like it yeah so now they're aboard okay. the 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 commodore's ship they're aboard the dauntless yeah yeah the dauntless and they they're basically like hey we need to go save will and they're like i got you back like that's all we were here for right and she's like look I, look how about this go save will i will marry you if you do yeah right and he's like well, he's like i've been thinking about this right. for nigh on a second <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh yeah just hold his parasol uh so he decides that, she, that they're gonna go after him and uh, uh only if if she does that so. yeah and so sparrow kind of concocts a bit of his own scheme yes trying to manipulate the british officers but they basically go back to isla de muerta the pirates are already back at isla de muerta with will um, Will finds out that his father uh, didn't like what they like we talked about before. Didn't like yeah, what they right. did with the gold, and that's when they killed him. So uh -huh. They're back at the cave with the Aztec treasure. As they're and they're gonna cut Will's hand into the thing. They're, they're basically like, "Good, now yeah. we have all the pieces together. We're we're solid, and we got the right person this time." <laughs> uh, Sparrow says before they 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 free themselves from the curse that they should uh, first kill the navy because basically, so so yeah. so yeah. Here's the thing. Sparrow tells the navy. Let me go in mm. and trick them into coming out, and you guys blast them. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yeah. And then Sparrow goes in and says, Don't kill Will yet. You're going to want your skeleton powers so you could take that Navy ship out there. And then, how about this? Barbosa, you get to be Commodore Barbosa. I get the Black Pearl. I'll kick up some of my plunder to you, and I work for you. And I get my ship back. You get like power and a fleet. And they go, like, All right, we got a deal. So Sparrow kind of saves Will's life, but he's playing his own game. Yeah. But you see, he picks up a bunch of the Aztec coins and he goes, put all of these back once every one of them's dead. And he's throwing the coins back, but you see him palm one, one in coins. one of his sort of Jack Sparrow -y ways. Yeah. And so I'm they confused. Go, what so you confused? Zach, can you demonstrate what a he palm a is? Of, uh, uh, no, I know what you're saying. And wanna, that's not the part that's confusing. I want to hear what Elenka is confused about. Why um why didn't they just go in and save Will? Like, why do they not want them to break the curse? Well, well the, so the Navy doesn't necessarily believe the curse is real. Okay. Because that's crazy. Sure. So they're saying. Jack is saying, "I'll get them to like come out, and then you guys just blast them while they're in their little rowboats." Okay. Because they're coming out from this cave. Kind if you of just thing. go in there, yeah. then you're just having a man on man fight. So and people might die. So that's why right. the Navy is waiting outside. Okay. And then inside, Jack is saying, Don't get rid of your powers. Go out there, kill the Navy. Now you got two ships. Why does yeah. he want 
because then that. he'll get to be captain of the Pearl again, and Barbosa will be the Commodore. He's like, I'll work for you. I just want my ship. Either way, he wins. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But while he's do- while he's saying all this and sowing this manipulation, he steals a coin for himself. No, yeah. no, no, no. I still don't understand. Why wouldn't he let them break the curse first and then have them? Well, because it, because because if just... they all die, he can take possession of the Black Pearl anyway, can he? Well, I think this is just a way to gain their trust by going like, "Hey, the 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 bit the ultimate thing here is though. that the ultimate thing here is that Sparrow is not as malicious a pirate as mm-hmm. the other ones are. So he actually kind of wants some. He doesn't want Will to die. Like if he if they why do they have if, to kill him? They just need his. Well, blood. because I think they I think they say like. I think they say like cut him open, take no chances. Like we're not just going to cut his hand because you cut. We're going to kill him and make sure all his blood's in there. Last drop, we're not yeah. taking any more chances. They only cut okay. the Kira Knightley's hand, yeah. and they were like, maybe the issue was that we used only a little bit of her blood. So yeah, so it wasn't because she was not at all related to the person. That was why, but they think they just like kill. Like so he's like, doing also, it mostly to save Will. Okay, because otherwise, too, yeah. If the if the Navy had won, like they they would they would have just arrested Jack Sparrow again. Yes. yes. Like so, so this way, maybe okay. there's some bloodshed. He yeah. needs okay, he okay. needs the conflict to be able to like escape in the chaos uh-huh. kind gotcha. of thing. And yeah, okay. exactly. Pearl. But this is when you get a great scene because uh, this whole time Jack Sparrow's assuming that they're going to jump on their little rowboats and go back to their ship, and the Barbosa goes, "No, boys, take a walk." Yeah. And so instead of going in their rowboats, they actually go walk along the sea floor so they can sneak up on the pirates. Mm. Or on the, on the, the and I gotta say, this scene with them walking under so the water cool. has it, and the upcoming fight scenes have it. This movie, considering it came out in 2003, insane. has insane special effects, and they don't just do a thing where it's like, this shot is moonlight, you're a skeleton. This shot is regular yeah. light, you're a person. There's like beams of light, and every right. time they walk through, it changes. Like, right. the the visual effects capacity of this movie is kind of wild. Like, mm. it's re- it's it would be good if it came out now. Yes, 100%. <laughs> I watched it last night, and I was just like, yeah, this looks it's, like it come up today. It's crazy. Oh, it's timeless. Okay. So, they, so yeah, all these pirates are like walking. So you see skeletons, and then when they're walking under the boat, then they're like people again, and then yeah. they walk out and, and they climb cool. along the anchors yeah. uh, uh, to get so on top creepy. of the ship. Mm-hmm. They like sneak up behind all of the crew and start killing all of the crew <gasps> members. So I mean, it starts this big fight outside. So the crew, uh, like the navy and the pirates, are fighting, and then some of the navy has to get back to the ship because they were anticipating sparrow betraying them yeah. so they have to oh. get back to the ship to fight pirates there's some like fun stuff of like the governor has to, has this like standoff with a pirate severed hand that keeps attacking him kind of like cute like, there's uh, a thing we didn't mention though good. was that not the entire crew of the navy is on that ship because the uh the i just com- said that the commodore is basically <laughs> on some rowboats outside of it i don't listen to what you talk um <laughs> uh and so, the uh, did you talk about? The, I just said they had to get back to the ship because they were anticipating. Yeah, but did you talk about the two inside the two pirates inside did of the you dresses? Talk about as he's right beside you. I'm too busy reading. Uh, two of the comedy pirates are dressed as women. Uh, yeah, in a row to home. like distract the people on the Dauntless while the other pirates climb on and like uh, yeah. start killing them. So silly. they're like dressed as women with parasols. So they're like you. That's so it's, silly. It's kind of stupid. You don't really need it in there, but it's funny. Yeah. Doesn't like comedy it. pirate get a fork in the eye at some point? Is that, <gasps> or no. yeah. during the, That's during right. the battle right. when they're like cannoning cutlery and stuff like that. He gets uh, a fork like a whole sequence where he's trying to like get get his eye back because he has a wooden wow. eye. Yeah. Right. But wow. while while they're on top of the uh, on on the dauntless. Uh, uh, Elizabeth sneaks off. Yeah, back to, into the cave. Well, mm-hmm. to go back to the Black Pearl. Yeah, so that she can save the crew yes. of uh, of the Interceptor. Yeah, the, like the everybody. the ragtag pirate crew. She's yeah. got to save them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So she breaks them out and says, "We got to go help Jack." And they're like, "Yeah, pirate code. We're gonna save ourselves." Ah. Uh, she goes by herself in a rowboat. Yeah. The cave. Inside, um, but. They don't really know what all's happening out there. Inside, Barbosa's like, I thought I had you figured out, Jack, but you're a hard man to pin down. And Jack has this line about, like, you can always trust a dishonest man to be dishonest, honestly. It's the, uh, and he's talking about it. And then he does a double cross. He helps Will get untied. And it starts this big kind of sword fight inside. So 
Sparrow and Barbosa start sword fighting. And while they're sword fighting, um, like Barbosa says something like, you can't kill me. What's going to happen here? And he stabs Sparrow and Sparrow backs up into the moonlight, but he's taken the coin. So he's a skeleton immortal man, too. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So then they have a skeleton fight, which is amazing. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's it's really it's good. It's cool as shit. Yeah. Right. But Barbosa <laughs> basically smartly says, like, what are you, neither of us can kill each other. Like, what are we going to do? Fight forever? Right. Right. Yeah. I'd watch that movie. Like, what's the so, point? <laughs> so they're they're fighting. This all is happening. Uh, uh Elizabeth and Will are fighting some other pirates that are still in the cave. And there's a bit where when they're skeletons, he puts a bomb in one of them and then pushes them out of the moonlight so they can't get the bomb. Uh, uh-huh. And that's kind of kind of cute. Yeah. yeah really uh, but then basically there's this like last kind of push or whatever. Jack cuts his hand, tosses the coin at the case uh, and uh, hmm. Will. And then you hear this. It. You hear this shot. And Barbosa's got a gun at a, at Elizabeth, and you hear the shot, and you're like, "Who got shot?" And uh, Sparrow shot Barbosa, and he goes, "You held on to that shot for so long, and now you waste it on me." Now, and Will says he didn't waste it, and he's cut his hand, and he drops the coins into the thing. The curse breaks, and Barbosa starts like bleeding out. He's a great mm. last phrase. His great last line is, uh, "I feel cold." Yeah, mm. dies, and then one of like that the pirates sucks. on the ship gets stabbed and he dies and then the other pirates are like oh fuck are we not skeleton pirates anymore <laughs> um, they immediately all give up and they they surrender yeah and, they want to yeah. eat yeah and it's a big like yes yes british <laughs> <Yeah>. navy yes <laughs> kind of moment <laughs> uh which is funny there's a funny moment with the governor because he had been like fighting that into like hand that severed hand yeah. and he puts it in a drawer at one point and after the curse is lifted he opens the drawer and like almost barfs because it's turned back into an actual Ew. hand. Oh, God. That's, <laughs> That's pretty good. Just a rotting so, severed hand. Yeah. We now go back to Port Royal. Port Royal mm-hmm. and uh, it's, uh, it's been a little like, bit of time. Yeah, sometimes but now the the idea is that it this is going to be the is it, it's not the wedding but No, this ceremony. is the hanging. The hanging. This That's is right. the hanging of Jack Sparrow. <laughs> yeah, cuz they're like, oh, look, you're still a fucking pirate, yeah, dude. Right. Like, yeah, you're gonna Really like after he is saved. Well, they there's a line about how they granted will clemency, but they didn't because like they say something like a yeah, a lifetime of Piracy, piracy doesn't get forgiven for one kind of thing or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, Will shows up dressed like fucking D'Artagnan with like a, a big very fancy pirate. Yeah. Oh my God, like a. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm like like a, three sorry. musketeers. He looks like a musketeer, kind of like big hat, big feather. You don't. You you at least know who the musketeers are with the three. Musketeers. I know the concept. Okay. Furious, furious googling. Dartan. <laughs> just look at three musketeers. Out of curiosity, how did you spell D'Artagnan when you just? I got this. <laughs> Some Can't sort really. of basketball. D'Artagnan player, Crockett. That's Wait, not... didn't didn't Orlando Bloom play D'Artagnan or something no, in, I don't, in the three I don't musketeers so. movie? Oh, a Maybe. kung fu guy, some wrestler. <laughs> yes. I, yeah. so he, he just comes up looking like this. No. Jesus. Okay. That's yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, like that. I see. <laughs> exactly who he looks like. Okay. And then he, like, he shows oh, up. Like, like... Yeah. No, really? Oh, no, yeah. That oh yeah. Like... Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That. I don't think he's Tartanian there, though. I think he's playing he's like. He's playing someone else, I think. Um, so who's D'Artagnan? Like he was a musketeer. Yes, he just he the whole. I was trying to use like it, it as a quick reference for how his costume looked, <laughs> and it, you it can fully backfired. I was yeah. like, this will save time. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, not but a he, thing. He confesses his love for Elizabeth. He says, like <gasps> he he shows up at the hanging. He goes to Elizabeth, who's with uh, uh, Norrington, and he's like, yeah. "Hey, I I should have always told you this." I love you. Yeah. And Norrington's like, shut the fuck up, bro. I'm this close to <laughs> <laughs> every day she gets older. He's just like, let me oh, could you just let me get in there oh, and I'll let no. you have the rest. Oh no. Jesus. <laughs> uh and just as that's happening, they like hit the the rope for the hanging. He mm. falls down just as he like almost hits the actual like hanging point. Uh Will throws his sword so that the sword basically just lands at, at uh the feet of Sparrow mm. so that he doesn't fully uh. hang. So he can hold Fun. himself up. 
uh, kind of fight, kind of chase ensues with yeah. the executioner and stuff. And then we get another, you'll always remember this as the day you almost call, caught Captain Jack. Whoa! <laughs> and he like falls off the fort. Yeah, uh, like just, the same way that she did it. The, the way Elizabeth uh -huh. had fallen before. Yeah. Is he supposed to be like extremely lucky or extremely clumsy? Or is it mm. planned? It's kind of all of those. He is mm. he's extremely <laughs> cunning. But he's also kind of like he just rolls with it, like it's like drunken mm -hmm. master kind of. It does have. Right. Money, that's not gonna help. That no, you no, just yes, said it does, right because I <laughs> play D and D, and that is my monk specialty. How did that uh, help? Yeah. It did. <laughs> I get I, it. I mean. That's cool as hell, but I can't believe that word. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he falls off, and they're basically like they have all all of the navy's like uh, guns and swords pointed now at Will and Elizabeth. Elizabeth, who's like, "Hey, I want to be with Will." And Norrington's just like, "Well, yeah, whatever." What and are you like twenty at this point, like. Yeah, it's like I better go. Some, now. Yeah, yeah, I better scope out another. Yeah, <laughs> I've got some yeah. chat rooms I need yeah. to. Maybe get by to. the time I'm an admiral, I'll yeah. get some. He's he's the Leonardo DiCaprio of Point Royal. I'm going to go on TikTok. <laughs> oh god. So he's they're they're all pointing. And then basically they go, oh, whatever. You guys can be together. Yeah. Uh, like, what are we going to do? And they're like, well, what are you going to do about Sparrow? And they're like, well, we'll give him a day. Well, the governor kind of like says like maybe sometimes doing the right thing is he's doing the wrong fantasy. thing or whatever. And Norrington mm -hmm. goes, I guess we all did learn a little something. Today. <laughs> and Norrington's like, we'll give him a day's head start. Which. Mm -hmm. Not to spoil things, but in the next movie, when you catch up with Norrington, he is ruined. He's lost his career. He's oh, no. like a drunk in Tortuga, and it's because he gave that day's head start and he never got Jack. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's so deeply fucked. <laughs> and so now Elizabeth and Will are going to be pirates together. So Elizabeth and Will That's are, fun. yeah, they're going to get married. Jack gets to sail off on the Black Pearl with his crew. They put like the coat on him and. He gets some sort of like bring me that horizon kind of line. And yeah. the movie ends with him saying he's, he's got, got the, the compass. Yeah. He says, drink up, may hotties, yo ho. And he closes the compass. So Ooh, they yeah. don't go with Jack. They go on their own. Do they, no, they, Elizabeth I, and Will don't go with Jack. Do they ever no. meet up? Is there a future movie where they get back to get like all three of them? Yeah. I mean, they all get, they all meet up again. Yeah. I, I could. Oh, yeah. Remember. They have to. <laughs> Look, I, it's the Matrix. I don't know. But the rest of it's just complicated. I don't need it. But that's Pirates of the Caribbean. The Here. Curse of the Black Pearl. Fun. Not what I thought was going to happen. I thought I, they were going to get treasure. No, I mean, the whole movie's about putting treasure back. The, tre right. the, the treasure is the friends they made along the way. Yeah, so maybe the, the real heck treasure could the next is... movies possibly be? Next movies get crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Davy Jones, as right, in Davy Jones Locker, name. comes in. Isn't that got like a squid face? Yeah, he's got a squid that, face. Uh, isn't that uh, Javier? No, that's Captain that? Salazar. That's from the fifth movie. Jesus, there's oh, five. Yeah, there's five. There's five. I thought there was I thought three. There was Is that the guy with the floaty oh. hair? Yes, that's and that's the fifth movie. That's Who is the Dead Men one? Tell No Tales. The fourth one is. On Stranger Tides, where they look for the Fountain of Youth. So is the third one the Flying Dutchman? I want to the watch third, them. The, the second one and the third one <gasps> have Davy Jones and the Dutch. Oh, yeah. The second yeah, and yeah. third are kind of like... Kind they're of like one big movie. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They're Bonkers. like the Deathly Hallows of the, the it, Yeah. Hey, series. don't you dare drag I down the... It's kind of just like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's I didn't exactly. watch those. Or I just want to take a quick moment here. Just does it like... Not Alenka, because we had to explain the movie to her. But does anyone here do like... A Jack Sparrow, or do any like? Do you have a good pirate voice? We or he, we just got a good one from Zach. Zach got one. Will Zach you have one? one? Can you do one? Oh, I I think That's I can do bad. a pirate voice. Good pirate voice, Richard. Can you do a Barbosa? Oh, take me one more time. No, wrong pirate. Oh. No. <laughs> I don't get it. Barbosa. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to do it in the car the way here. I don't think I can do it. Sparrows is hard. Uh, no, I can no, I, Zach nailed it. I can't do. Sparrow, I can do the Barbosa one. I, I, I can do. A, Zach, can um, you do the? Can you do? Okay, yeah. wait, Zach. Here's your challenge. Challenge, Zach. Do Will, do Jack, and then do this Barbosa character. Um, and then just I for like fun, try podcast. to be Kieran Knightley. Uh, not that Will. Oh, wrong. Yeah, will. Uh, will Will Turner is. Uh, what's What's the line that he says? What's it like? Uh, this is fun. So, uh, talk about the Tang. 
The tang is perfect. Oh, that's not bad. God, it tastes is like that orange. impression. That's a good or little like, yeah. impression. Keep that. I can do. I can do a better Legolas because only because I know the lines from just like this forest is old, very old. Zach, Zach and I, I'm going to blow our spot up here. Zach and I <laughs> used to work out to the soundtrack from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. um, okay, um, I'm going to try, try to do... Uh, or, oh, sorry. I can do I can do the one Barbosa okay, um, yeah. that I know is... Uh, you best start believing in ghost stories, Miss Turner. You're in one. Oh, <laughs> And that was like the trailer line. Huge Ooh. line. Yeah. I got the, chills. Uh, the one, the Barbosa I tried to do, and I don't think I got there, was the, you're off the edge of the map here, Jack. Here there be monsters. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. I, I like that. Yeah, I yeah, like yeah, it. Yeah. Do you have a pirate voice? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's Norrington. <laughs> <laughs> but like at the beginning of the movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can, I... I like not to be this way, but can women do pirate voices? Come on. Zoe Saldana know. plays a pirate. Her name's Anna Maria. She's on. She's Letting women, get to women, hear women. her. What is she, is she doesn't she really do a pirate voice. Too? She is in the rest of the movie. Yeah. You may not have recognized her. She's the her. one, even at the end, she gives Jack his coat and says, you know, the pearl's waiting for you, Captain, kind of thing. You may not have recognized her because she wasn't Holy colored shit. in this movie. Stop. <laughs> we got to. <laughs> She probably just has a normal British voice. See, I think she does like a. She definitely does like an island, like a Caribbean accent. Yes. Uh, this movie. Yeah. Don't try and do that. <laughs> it's more of an that accent. That accent like is off limits. Yeah. It, so there you well, go. Yeah, Aleko, what did Thank you think you. of that? Sounds fun. Like, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Here's my favorite part of this. I know that now, Aleko. You're being mandated to watch movies now because yeah, I, I know I know that you finally had to watch the last movie we came on for Ernest Saves Christmas. Oh, <laughs> which was great. Uh, still haven't watched Casablanca that I came on for, but whatever, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, well, we're getting through them. <laughs> I'm excited for you eventually to get to this movie because I do think it's it holds up. If this oh, came out incredibly, if this oh, came out sounds... now, it would be good, it would be Very one of the better excited. movies. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I like Very what you mentioned about. Right. I like how you mentioned that the exposition and the action happens at the same time because that um. will hold the attention of the audience, aka me, versus other movies we've wa- I've had to watch where they had exposition on a random screen for like five literal minutes. <laughs> and I yeah. am doing nothing. Yeah, this this movie doesn't really slow down much. No, it's pretty Good. go go go. It's... Even at the part where Sparrow then uh, like um, uh, has a lawsuit against Barbosa for beating him up. God, we're not bringing up the Amber Heard <laughs> stuff on this. Jeez Louise! I don't know Jesus. much about Good. it. I Good can't God. partake. <laughs> it's off limits. <laughs> Brutal. We don't Brutal. get to talk about certain things. Well, Alenka, Here. Alenka. Yeah. How many how many grooming commodores do you <gasps> have this movie? Oh man. <laughs> how many grooming commodores? Honestly, there's so many in the world. So probably like all of the ones that exist in that day and age. Yeah. Keyword but I age. guess, yeah, yeah. I guess that time yeah. frame doesn't change anything, though. Yeah, does it? light light up the Royal Navy, Alenka. <laughs> yes, yeah. Queen, take down those fucking Commodores. Yes, ow, Queen, ow, almost ripped my toenail <laughs> off. What? I don't know. You know when you just start fidgeting. Yes. Come yeah. Yeah. That's got to be the best movie review I've ever seen. Whoa. So oh, yeah. it would seem. How could you say she? He, he's not hot. Listen to that. That wasn't Orlando Bloom. That's right, the but other also, like, like, uh, Navy guy. I, I can't like, believe how I mean, unbelievably not hot he is in <laughs> Lord the, of the, the Rings. It's the, uh, it's the shirt. Yeah. That's yeah, that's why I retired it after a I few just years. Want, I want to leave you on this power. note. I think the hottest character in Lord of the Rings is Treebeard. I don't get it. <laughs> the end. He's, a, he's a big tree. He's just a tree. <laughs> one, day, one day you will get it, Alenka. Like the end her. Master Maria Doc. Oh, oh yeah! No. <laughs> you, the best. God, I've got wood. <laughs> Come on. 
We'll, we'll have our Lord of the Rings special. <laughs> I'll save it for the Lord of the Rings special. Alenka, have you seen any of the Lord of the Rings? No. I and I think I think Will's been waiting because Zach and I desperately want to do that one. But... <laughs> I have been waiting. Yeah. It's just the right read, moment. Reed explaining it and me and me doing all the information. It's, go- all it's the... going to be 14 be hours so long because we're just gonna do yeah. it line by line. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Next yeah, time like, you're well... Ontario. Right. Yeah. We I feel like it has to be in person. I think that one does, yeah. Just do the theatrical version. It's just as good. I'll kill yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> well guys, thank you for coming on. Uh Thanks. Can you let us know where people can find you on the on the, the old internet there. Yeah. So like the old. Yeah. If you're on one of those like the old, old tiny scroll internets, um, yeah. <laughs> just go down to where the quill has written uh Dr. <laughs> DC podcast or Ghost Facers, a supernatural rewatch. Both of those are podcasts you can get anywhere. Uh, Dr. DC is about uh, comic books. We talk about superheroes and, and stuff like that, answer listener questions. Ghost Facers, we're watching every episode of the CW Supernatural. We're about a third of the way through season four right now. Uh, we talk about monsters and stuff like that, and it's a lot of fun. Yeah, here there be monsters. There there, there be, be monsters. monsters. On the and then, yeah, you can find us at Ghost Facers Pod on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or at Dr. DC on Twitter, or at uh, Dr. DC podcast on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok, baby. Oh, yeah. And at Dr. DC on TikTok. I'm on TikTok because uh, I'm, oh, I'm a real Warrington you... of myself. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. He's scouting. Yeah, he'll find you in your DM. Ugh. <laughs> well, thanks a lot. Uh, and on. if you want to follow us, you can uh, follow us on Facebook and Instagram, haven't seen a podcast, and Twitter, haven't underscore seen underscore it. And you can go to our website, haven't seen podcast.com, and, and see the giant list of movies like I hasn't seen. It's growing, baby. We also have a TikTok too, and I try to put things on it, but you know, sometimes, yeah, it's, sometimes. It's and a I young platform. removed all the apps on my phone that's related to social media. Oopsie. <laughs> There we go. (laughs) That's where we're at. Take Uh, it away. Oh, oh, no. uh, Well, damn it. Stay tuned. (laughs) Nine o'clock. We're jumping from one uh, colonial power to another. We're talking national treasure. Right. Robert Ludum at nine o'clock. If you're watching. Another treasure movie. Another treasure movie. Another treasure. (laughs) Pumped. Take it away. Face it a hair. Ask like it's just saying I haven't seen it. That seems like it was way too loud high there, but we did it. This was a brain freeze podcast. <laughs>